everyone welcome back to my channel I'd just like to share with you a couple of hats that I've made for hat not hate I did put out a video uh, probably two weeks ago now in relation to hat not hate the campaign that's going on in the US at the moment uh, it's a wonderful call for a wonderful cause um, it's basically crocheted hats or knitted hats um, to stand up against bullying and uh, I'll leave some links in the description below uh, to uh, another YouTuber, Crystal from Bag a Day. Um, she's got a lot more information. And also a direct link to Lion Brand, um, who have all the information there as well, of where you can send in your hats if you'd like to make some. So this is the one that I had shown uh, already from my previous uh, video. And it's a crocheted hat. Um, the one that I'm wearing is a knitted hat. Now, I don't know if this one conforms. It does have a little bit of light blue, as you can see here. Light blue, and it's got a blue brim. It's a little bit long, so I just lifted it up. And also, I've made another crocheted hat. Now, this one, I started, um, again, this is just some uh, acrylic yarn. Uh, this yarn here is uh, by Lincraft. And uh, it's just a uh, wor so we worsted weight yarn, which is uh, like a, in Australia we call it eight ply yarn, um, but it's a, probably the equivalent of a f uh, f four weight yarn. Now this pattern here originally, you probably notice here, looks a little bit familiar. It's a pattern that uh, Bag O'Day um, has released and uh, her tutorial number, I'm just looking down here, I wrote it down. The tutorial number is 676. Um, I started watching it and I thought, okay, I've got the idea and uh, off I went. And uh, I didn't watch the video the whole way through. And then uh, <laughs> I thought, to read it initially, I thought that this band here of uh, single crochets, I think it is, I thought it was just where the colour had changed. Uh, so that's what I did. I did my rounds to get the, uh, the the top part of the beanie as wide as I needed it to be for the size, and then I I did you know three rows here of different colours, and that was going to be my plan. Then for some reason I decided to watch the rest of the video, and I realised that it's not a changing of colour; it was actual design change. So uh, where you'd work uh, single crochets in the back loop. And the rest of it is double crochets. So I was already down here by that stage. So I just carried on and then I continued on with her style. And then finished off it like this for the end. But um, but it's a lovely little hat. Fits nice. And then lastly, I've been racking my brain thinking, um, I know how to crochet. I know how to do some various stitches. Uh, why don't I try and come up with uh, a pattern of my own? So I painstakingly started, stopped, frogged, uh, you know, <laughs> I had a lot of fun. But um, I really, uh, uh, pardon the pun, take my hat off to uh, the people who write out patterns and design their own work because it's a lot of work. It's not an easy job. Um, and then, of course, you'd have to send out your pattern off. I haven't gone that far. Send your pattern off for testers. Um, get it maybe, um, what do they call that? Tech edited. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, so I did come up with my own little pattern. Um, I don't know when it's going to be released, but we'll, we'll see how we go at first. <laughs> see what the response is, if everyone likes it or not. But anyway, this is the hat that I made. And... Uh, it's a little bit different where this part here, it's not actually crocheted. From this row above, it's all crochet, but this part here is knitted. So again, if you're not a knitter, I apologize. It's not something for everyone. But um, um, 
Priscilla from Distinctive Crochet recently released a video where she starts all of her beanies with a knitted band and then she casts off with a crochet hook and then is able to, uh, without having to um, drop or pick up any stitches, just in the normal way, you just continue crocheting around. Um, and I thought that was brilliant. So I tried that and it seemed to be okay. However, I found because I had cast on 100 stitches for the uh, band uh, using a 4.5 mill millimeter knitting needles, uh, when I went to cast off, I had 100 stitches still. So I think I should have reduced the amount of stitches because then when you crochet, it sort of ballooned out. So it is quite um, big, but that's okay. If you have a lot of hair or thick hair like me, it should fit okay. But anyway, then I continued on with some double crochet and half double crochet. And then I did um, this stitch here, which is just basically working in the third third loop at the back of the half double crochet and I think that's called a camel stitch around and then just continued on uh, repetition like that till I got to the top then when I got to the top it was just a row of um, half double crochets a row of double crochet a row of half double crochet and finally a row of single crochet but reducing the stitches so decreasing the stitches uh, every every second stitch I de decrease it down till I got to a small hole and then I just cinched it together but I think it came out quite cute I love the yarn here the variegated yarn and then the, just the solid blue so that's all I have I've been um, trying to you know riddle my brain with this trying to create a pattern and uh, just give me a suggestions if you if you like uh, what I've made so far like I said, because of um, the whole, you know, uh, expense for shipping and things like that, I will be giving these to uh, my grandkids and then the, the leftovers, uh, as much as I can make, uh, I'll be giving it to a homeless shelter, which I still have to try and find out where. If not, there are quite a few churches around and uh, charity places like St. Vincent de Paul and also we have a Vinnie's here and a Salvation Army um, so I'll contact them and see if um, if they'd like to take them thank you very much thank you for liking my videos and again come back if you'd like to see more more content thank you bye bye <laughs> sorry about that Let's start again don't forget to like and subscribe and if you'd like to make a comment it's, it's more than welcome i try to read all the comments and to reply all the comments thank you for bye bye